What's up guys? We are heading to a brewery that we have not been to before. Here's Dana, you are driving. Hello. So we picked this up and we are at the Rockford Brewing Company. I don't know when that was, a couple months ago? Yeah, it was a couple of months ago. Which is kind of funny because we, we've we been here for, next month will be three years living in Grand Rapids and this is the first time we really ever had one of these bad boys. So basically this is a the ale trail for Grand Rapids. Every time you go to one of the breweries, they put a stamp right here from the brewery, which is kind of cool. We're going to Elk Brewing Company. We've definitely tried their beer, so there's a couple of their beers that I've had. Um, the Blonde Express is a blonde coffee ale that I've had, and there's also a stout that I've had. I don't know that you've had anything. Have you? I don't recall anything. Yeah, so anyway. We are checking them out. Most important thing though is food. We're both starving, we haven't eaten all day. So we checked their menu, it's like gastro pub style stuff, but so like burgers, that kind of thing. But it's in Comstock Park. It's about a 24 minute drive from where we live and about a 15 minute drive from downtown Grand Rapids. So um, we'll let you know how it goes when we get there. Yay, beer and food. So what was going on before we approached? What did we notice? That there's a Whitecaps game going on right now, uh, just pretty much across the street. Yeah, we're right across the um, street from the Fifth Third Ballpark. Not only is it going on, but it's it's not going on yet. It's still in the preliminary stages of everyone's seating, so it's even busier. But that means it's a little bit slower here at the brewery. So, so. here is kind of what the outside of the building looks like. This is the back half. They have their own parking lot though, which is really nice. Okay, so the beer has arrived. We have ESP, peanut butter and jelly ale, which they decided to be cordy and call it the PB and J ale lead, which is kind of funny. And then there's Dinkalicious IPA, which is an interesting color for being 7.6 percent. It's pretty crazy. And then there's the strawberry cream soda and then the PB Porter. SB? ESB. It's a surprise. But we don't really know what it is. No, we don't. It almost smells like a lot. Okay. Cake, like a funnel cake sundae. Ooh. 
I think Elevenier is better than Funnel Cake. Remember when I made that homemade? Yeah. That was good. That was really good. I just want to go to the fair I now. Fun ice cream. I don't want to go to the fair. I yeah, feel we like didn't we should have sat outside, is what I feel like. Well, I put us inside so you can take pictures of things. I know, but, but there's nothing really like photographic about where we're sitting. That guy sure is. The foul mouth right there. If you photographed it, we'd have the phone number right there. Uh huh. Evil's heart. Show me what your shirt says, Bunny. My shirt says craft beer or nothing. But let's face it, I drink any beer. Right here. Flight number two. What's really funny about this flight is usually it's light to dark, which it still is, technically, but usually it's half Dana, half me, and it's not. This one's actually one of my choices. This one's one of my choices. This is a repeat beer that we both liked via ESB, and then these two are the ones Dana wanted. That's orange IPA, I think. Which one's ESB? ESB oh, this right one. Here. Okay, so this is a repeat beer that we both wanted. It's difficult because they don't have a flight board. Most places have a flight board. And she said it was called, it stands for Extra Special Bitter. Extra Special Bitter. Which is really strange. But I didn't find it bitter at all. No, I didn't either. It tasted barrel aged. Barrel aged IPA. Yeah, and which is kind of what I thought it was. Yeah, it's like a, a IPA without the bite. It's good. Very good, very smooth. It was growler worthy. We have food. I got the Western burger. He got the Hawaiian burger, which is very adventurous for him. We're gonna dig in. No one wants to watch anyone eat messily, because I don't eat like a lady. Okay, how was your Hawaiian burger? We're all, we all wanna know. It was incredible. It was like a Hawaiian pizza with a burger. I don't know about it. But better. I don't know. It's gone. Mine was very good, but it was, it was, I mean, it was the same as any other, like, Western barbecue style burger that you would have. Yeah, I think but it was very much. good. It was very, very good. That's so why the, I didn't order that. The food is delicious, for sure. The so, are the best. you're having the ESB right now. Yes. How do you feel about it? Love this beer. Dana's making me try this first, and I don't want to. It is the Citra Pale, 5%. Um, not exactly my color spectrum. I feel like it's just gonna be fun and just me sticking my tongue out in a minute, so we'll see if that happens. Or, usually when I go to like be a beer stop and sniff the beer, inhale it up my nostrils and it's the worst thing ever for me. So don't drink your beer like that. Not terrible but not me. I don't like it. It tastes like... Yeah, I was waiting okay. for the bitter beer face. I really it's was. It's not super bitter because it's pale. But what I don't like is I'm not huge on beers with citrus in them because I'm a stout quarter drinker. That's not really a taste or an element that's of that beer. So for that reason, not really my thing. It tastes like, and this is what I picture, so I feel like I have a riding lawnmower and I'm trying to cut my grass and someone whipped an orange in my face. This is what I think. That's what I think about. I'm just like trying to enjoy cutting my grass and then someone threw an orange at me. That's what this beer tastes like to me. of that brewery it's great Love yeah that. really nice um super local vibe still that brewery has only been around for three years this location um opened up last september so next month it'll be one year of this one being open so there's a lot of things they haven't really gotten to yet like there's a mug club but it's not a big emphasis 
Um, they have merchandise, but it's kind of on the walls or behind the bar. There really isn't like a gift shop like Founders has or Atwater or any of like the larger well-known breweries. They have their own shop, um, like a separate one. Like Bell's had their very, like yeah. an actually a whole building devoted to that. So they're kind of getting there. Um, they do have quite a lot of beer still on tap. They do. Beer was good. It was well made. Decent prices. Pretty competitive prices. Um, the actual brewery itself is super nice. Like a lot of natural light comes right in. Um, it's a beautiful area. It's kind of more of like a, I'd say like a little bit more rural because the outskirts of Grand Rapids tend to be a little bit more like farmy. Like there's just open fields and stuff in front of us for the most part. Um, it's a gorgeous day, so it was really nice having the breeze come through. No yeah, bugs. It's, it's pretty like the garage door effect. And yeah, they got, had like, like the, it was kind of industrial. It's not closed off, it's all garage yeah. doors that they peel open and stuff. It's really cool. And then you made a comment about how subtle the hunting theme was. What? Yeah, it's, you know, they, they could have, like, it's elk brewing, right? So they could have really overplayed the hunting theme. But they just kind of give nods to it everywhere yeah. in the in the building. There's nothing really overdone about the hunting theme. It's not like you walk in and see a dead, like a lodge. It's not uh, yeah, lodgy. It's not lodgy or anything like right. that. There's no taxidermy on the wall. Everything is done in, in art form and not um, you know animals. It was like a modern like very... modern rustic. So there was like a giant elk, but it was made out of like painted wire. So it's, it was like more of an alt art installation, like very graphic, yeah, very modern, painted very rebar. Sleek. It's really yeah. nice, uh, and it's not overdone. A lot of times, I think the the, the lodge. But I kind of wanted unquote, it to be that way. I don't know. I I didn't mind it. I think for the city that we're in, that theme would not have worked. And they I think did it well. would have. They did though. a good job. I don't know. Playing on to the, other the end modern. Of the I don't know. I liked it the way that it was. No, I think because most of breweries here in Grand Rapids, um, like I'd say, pretty much. All of them are industrial. Um, they're very graphic. They're very like artistic, and they're industrial for the most part because it's an old city. Um, it's also a very large city, and Grand Rapids never took a downfall economically like Detroit did. So a lot of our buildings are still intact as far as like stamped tin roofs, like ceilings, um, creaky old wood floors. Like most of these breweries used to be something else, like a furniture store or something along that line. So a lot of them have that kind of like vintage effect where it's the clash of old and new so the industrial thing works i think having it be kind of lodgy when it's on the outskirts would have been cool a contrast i think would have been cool because there was literally nothing rustic the only rustic thing is the antlers in their graphic and the fact that they do a wild game uh and beer festival beer was definitely the star of the show just like it should be um, and it's not like you go in and get your sampling of regular ales or IPAs or stouts or coffee stouts or oatmeal stouts these days. Everything here was really unique, like peanut butter and jelly and yeah. uh, different Strawberry cream takes soda. on beer that you don't get in a lot of different places. So it was really unique and, and interesting. I loved it. Yeah, very good. All right. Well, I think this concludes our video. Thanks for coming along for our brewery review. Um, and tour of Elk Brewing. And, and date night. Don't forget And that. date night. So thanks for being our third wheel. We appreciate it. Cheers and good night.